Okay, so our next project is a bookcase which we're going to make for a friend. Ian's drawn it out again on SketchUp and we're going to use plywood for the frame and then we're going to use pine for the backboard, face frame and edging. This is a bookcase we made last week. Our friends want a similar version so we're going to film us making the bookcase for our friend so you can have a look at it. Uh, the bookcase has a plywood frame and then a pine face frame backboard and edging and as you can see we've painted most of it in duck egg blue we've distressed some of the edges and we've stained the top and bottom and backboard If we look in a little bit more detail on the face frame, we've used a router just to add a little bit more interest to it, uh, down the sides and also on the top piece. The stained coving and skirting at the bottom, they're just standard off your shelf pieces from your local DIY store. where it's a bit warmer and now he's going to make the cross cuts. Next we're going to use a track saw to make the grooves for the shelves. Once we've done that we'll be able to use a chisel to clear out the waste. So to try and ensure that the grooves shelves fit into line up perfectly on both halves. The two halves are clamped down to the table, dead level, check the square and then I'll go through the different dimensions, mark them all off, leave them clamped down and then use the track saw to put grooves, uh, to mark out the edges of the grooves to the right depth and then I'll just clean them. waste from the grooves 
the edges of the grooves have already been cut using the track saw. Um, I'm going to use a chisel just to pop most of the waste out and then a small plane with a depth stop just to get the bottoms exactly the same length. Other alternatives include using routers, you can just do it with a chisel, uh, router planes are another option. But this is how I'm doing it. Now we've chiseled out all the grooves in the side panels, what we're going to do now is pre-drill them so when we start fitting it all together and glue the shelves in, we can hold the shelves in place while the glue dries. <laughs> 